Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing great. In today's video, we are gonna be taking a closer look at the brand new gimmick that we now know a bit more information about after that third trailer last week in the Pokemon Presents. But before we get into anything today, just a quick reminder, we are on the road to hitting 30K subscribers here on the channel. So thank you so much for all the support that we've had already. But if you're not subscribed and you wanna help us reach that goal very soon, get down there, hit that subscribe button, make sure you turn on notifications as well so you don't miss any of of these videos and the run up to these new games dropping later this year. Also, while you're down there, hit that like button as well to let me know that you enjoy this sort of content so I do more of it and also help share it with YouTube so they can share it with other people like you for them to enjoy as well. So like I said, with the trailer three dropping last week in that Pokemon Presents, we got a bunch more information about Scarlet and Violet, but we also got, I think the biggest thing was that reveal of the new gimmick and how it kind of works in game. We still don't know all of the details about it, but we can surmise enough about the information that's been released in the trailer and also corresponding information on the Pokemon official Scarlet and Violet website to have a better understanding of how it's going to work and interact in the games. So we know it's called the terrestrial phenomenon in the Paldea region. Every Pokemon is going to have a Terra type attached to it. So you're going to have every Pokemon when it's caught or obtained in game will also have a Terra typing. How we identify that straight away in game in boxes, we don't know yet. It's not been revealed, but we do know in battle, once you have access to the Terra Orb, which is an item that you need to use this new gimmick, you're going to be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon in your game to a new typing. Now we know as well, it's been confirmed that every Pokemon can have one of 18 different terror types attached to it so there is not a certain type that is attached to others or a small pool that they can be every Pokemon can be one of 18 different types as it's terraform the other information that we know is when you do use the terror transformation on a Pokemon that it doesn't have a time limit attached to it. When you wanna use this gimmick in game is up to you. So at any time during a battle on your turn, choose to use the terrestrialized mechanic on your Pokemon and transform it then and there or you can wait until a future turn to do it. But once you do use it, it does change your Pokemon's typing. We know that it has been confirmed and it doesn't have any time limits on it, unlike things like Dynamax and Gigantamax that we've seen in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So it works a little bit more like Mega Evolutions, not like Z-Moves, not like Dynamax that are tied to a certain period. And then the, the gimmick is gonna fade after that and go away. Like we mentioned, you're gonna need a Terra Orb to be able to utilize this new gimmick in game. And what you can see from the trailers here is that the trainers are actually using this terrestrialization on their starter Pokemon at quite low levels as well. So it's been theoried that you will get this Terra Orb quite early on in your playthrough. This alongside leaks and rumors that we've had as well in regards to this item kind of corroborate, meaning that we're gonna get it early on in our playthrough. So we'll be able to use it throughout our whole gameplay. Obviously nothing has been confirmed yet, but it does look like that is gonna be the case. Now the Terra Orb as well, once you do receive it, it is stated on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website that it will need charging for you to be able to use it in battle. So you're gonna be able to charge it by going around the Paldea region, uncovering these different crystal shaped objects Objects that emit a Terra energy that will then charge your Terra Orb to allow you to use it in battle. So that makes a lot of sense. Uh, the Terra Crystals as well are also tied to Terra Raids. So each crystal around the Paldea region is going to be different colored and each color will relate to a corresponding type. So we've got a green crystal here which corresponds to the grass typing. Now the Terra Raids and Terra Crystals are going to act a lot like what we've seen the Dynamax Raid Dens in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So what I would expect is you're going to go up to a crystal it'll be a specific color indicating what the terror type of the pokemon in this crystal will be and there'll be a set number of pokemon available within this crystal you'll be able to go in battle whatever pokemon is available as you can see in the trailer here it is a marl and it's terror type because the crystal's green is going to be grass typing so that is going to be the thing there's going to be obviously a different color crystal for every single type around the paldea region and i would imagine there's going to be different pokemon available in the crystals 
like we've seen in the Dynamax raids. We've seen nothing being confirmed yet. We're kind of just guessing from the information that we've got, but that would be indicating of how to obtain different Terra type Pokemon in different Terra crystals, as well as getting this Terra energy to charge your Terra orb to allow you to use it in game. The other thing about these Terra crystals is obviously the Terra raids and in the Terra raids, you're gonna be able to obtain Pokemon with those rarer Terra types. There are gonna be Pokemon that are available probably in the wild with more common Terra types. They've already mentioned like Eevee with a normal typing and flying typing. But in these Terra raids that you're gonna get through these crystals, you're gonna be able to obtain more rarer Terra typings for specific Pokemon. So we saw in the trailer, we saw Gardevoir with water typing as its Terra type. And there was a Dragonite, I think, that flashed up on one of the parts of the trailer with fire typing. So you're gonna have different typings for different Pokemon. They're gonna be available, predominantly the rarer ones in these Terra raids. And what does terrestrialization mean? Well, we had it confirmed that it changes a Pokemon's type when it does terrestrial in battle, meaning that its typing completely changes into a single typing. And when it does terrestrialize as well, it boosts whatever the Terra typing is for that Pokemon, so its moves are stronger. So you had Fiococo there, its Terra type was fire, so it gets an additional boost onto its fire type moves when it does terrestrialize in battle. So if you see from this example here, Midnight Techesh 2 uh, is their handle on Twitter, posted this really good diagram of how we kind of perceive the terrestrialized mechanic to kind of work. We've got the Magnemite here. Before transforming, going into that terraform, it has its normal electric and steel typing, which we know it has always had, and it will still have that stab or the same type attack bonus for all of its electric or steel type moves because they are related to its actual typing. Now, if Magnemite has a Terra type of normal here, like you can see, it when it terrestrializes, it will lose its steel and electric typing and turn into a normal typing, obtaining all the strengths and weaknesses of normal typing along with that, and then getting gaining that same type attack bonus, the stab boost to any normal type attacks that Magnemite has access to out of its pool of four moves that you've taught it. Then the final example is Magnemite with an electric Terra type and uses the mechanic to become a pure electric type will lose its steel typing, but as its base typing was already part electric, uh, it now becomes a pure electric type and gains an additional stab boost. So that same type attack bonus boost, uh, which we expect to go from 1.5, which it currently sits at, to two times when it does use that terrestrialization. So if its base typing is the same or has a dual base typing and one of those is the same as its terror type, when it does terrestrialize in battle, it gains an additional stab boost because it already has an existing one from its base form, if that makes sense. So this diagram pretty much sums up, obviously nothing being officially confirmed, just conjecture from what we had revealed and spoken about in the trailer so far, but that's how we're imagining it to work. The other way to look at it is if you had a Hydreigon, say with that dragon and dark typing, and it has a steel terror typing, you can then use the terrestrialize ability in battle, and then it will lose the dragon and dark typing and gain the steel typing and gain a stab boost for steel typing like a steel type would have normally as well. But you just wanna look at it like if you are terrestrializing in battle, it will change its type and it will gain all the benefits of being that new type as well but you're gonna have to have a move there to kind of benefit from that luckily how dragon learned something like flash cannon um in previous generations it has so it should be able to utilize that when it does turn into its steel terra type in game or in battle so we mentioned before about terror raids as well terror raids are kind of the new dynamax raid it will be a terror raid now they're pretty much set up the same although there are a few differences going into these they're obviously not going to be dynamax Pokemon, they're going to be Terra Pokemon, they're going to have different Terra types as well, depending on the color crystal that you go in on, but you're always going to be kind of partnered up with three other trainers. Now, these trainers can be from trainers that you have from online or locally, or they can just be three NPC characters that are in game if you want to do it on your own and not via any sort of communication. It also states as well that there'll be a lot of co-op strategies. And as you can see here, in one of the clips from the trailer, 
all of the Pokemon that are attacking the Gardevoir terrestrialize in battle, but they all become the grass terror type. So it might be a case of where one has access to the grass terror type, but all of the corresponding partner Pokemon can use that typing and then kind of take a advantage of the, the the more positive type matchup in that terror battle i don't know that's the, my thinking about it but it doesn't appear as though it's turn based they do specifically say you can attack continuously in the battle to support your teammates which makes it sound a bit more like real time battling so we'll get hopefully more information on that soon but it does sound like that is the way that it's going with the terror rate and we had a bunch of questions as well to ask about the terrestrialization which we're going to cover in this one once a pokemon terrestrializes will it gain a new attack now i don't think it will i think from the footage that we've seen from the trailers it doesn't look like when a pokemon terrestrializes in battle that it gains any new attacking moves or options in regards to its terror typing i think if we look at the trailer here when this event Pikachu that you get for early pre-ordering of the game. You can see it has the flying type as its terra typing, but it has access to fly as well to take advantage of that flying type when it does terrestrialize. So it doesn't gain a new move. It's not shown here in the trailer. So in my best bet would be that you don't get another new move, but there might be some added bonuses in the terror raids that we do get because there is new move animations when you see the Pokemon attacking. And whether or not that's based off the fact that it is real-time attacking uh, of that Pokemon, the Terra Pokemon, or whether or not it's just something in the Terra Raids itself, I don't know, but I wouldn't have thought from the information that we got already that you're gonna get a new attack added on to those four attacks that you already have as a Terra move. Is this limited to one Pokemon per battle? So my best guess right now would be yes. I think going off how all of the other new gimmicks worked in previous generations, like Mega Evolution, Z moves, Dynamax, I think they've all been limited to one Pokemon per battle and I think they would probably stay in line with that coming into Scarlet and Violet as well. It's not to say that this might be totally changed in coming into Scarlet and Violet where we can terrestrialize any amount of Pokemon in any one battle. So you could have a team of six Pokemon terrestrialized by the end of the battle, but I would very much doubt it. I think for the fact that you have to recharge your Terra Orb through Terra Energy that you're gonna have to find through these crystals kind of indicate that you're probably only gonna be able to use this on one Pokemon per battle. But let's wait and see what happens. Will a Pokemon's Terra type be shown in team preview? Now, this is a big thing for specifically the competitive scene. There's a lot of kind of worry potentially about how this will affect the competitive scene, Pokemon battling in general. Will it make it impossible to prepare for formats, metagames and things like that because it's so open-ended, there's so many possibilities. I don't think that's gonna be the case. I think they will implement something in team preview or in the display before you go into a battle somehow to show an opponent's team and what those Pokemon's terror types potentially are to make it easier to prepare and know what to expect when you're going into battle. So I would say sit tight on that for the moment. I think they will implement something to make it a little less daunting than it seems right now. We've obviously had nothing confirmed, but I would say don't worry about it. I think they will have thought about this and potentially team preview will have some indicator what Pokemon's Terra types specifically are before you got into battle. And that would be a nice way to get around that. Will terrestrialization take up a Pokemon's item slot or not? So I don't think so. I don't think uh, terrestrialization is going to take up an item slot at all. I think from the trailers, when we've looked at it, the Terra Orb is a trainer held item. It looks as though it will be something given to you uh, from the descriptions on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website. So it looks like an item the trainer has, like the Mega Band, and it doesn't look like you need to give a Pokemon anything because it's already caught with a Terra typing anyway. And when you see the animation of the Terra or being interacted with by a trainer to its Pokemon to activate that terrestrialization, the trainer is throwing the ball at the Pokemon to kind of make that gimmick happen. So it kind of takes away from the need of a Pokemon holding an item for it to happen anyway. So I would say Pokemon are still gonna be able to hold items, but the Terra item is gonna be something just tied to the trainer to be able to be used. And the next one, can you change a Pokemon's Terra type? So we know when you obtain or catch a Pokemon in the wild in Scarlet and Violet, it's gonna have a Terra type attached to it, but are you gonna be able to change that Terra type? And now there's a lot of leaks and rumors in regards to there potentially being an item to allow you to change a Pokemon's Terra type. And I think that would be great, but I can't see them having that item available 
available straight away. I think that will be an item that will be in potentially a DLC later on or it will be a very high cost item like an ability pill to make it difficult to get for a lot of trainers and not accessible uh, early on because I think the one thing that that item would do was detract people from taking part in terror raids and I think with the release of Scarlet and Violet Pokemon Game Freak are gonna want people to be online playing Terror Raids and have those hype moments when they get those really rare Terror types for certain Pokemon. I think it's a possibility, but I don't think it's something that we'll see very early on. And I think it'll be something that's a high cost item to make it more accessible through Terror Raids to get these rarer Pokemon rather than just being able to buy an item, as sad as that might sound to some of you. But let me know down below. Let me know your thoughts on that one. So that about wraps up everything that we wanted to kind of cover in today's video. And I hope it gives you a better idea of how terrestrialization works and everything that we know about it so far in game. Obviously, just bear in mind that we have the Pokemon World Championships happening in a couple of weeks time. And at the opening ceremony at the World Championships every year, uh, without fail, we get a big announcement from Game Freak Pokemon in regards to any upcoming titles. So be aware that we'll probably get a big announcement in regards to something relating to Scarlet and Violet at that opening ceremony from Game Freak and it may be in regards to the new gimmick as well because it does tie into the competitive scene of that event but it could also be new Pokemon as well they do reveal new Pokemon at these events so there's a lot of information still to come out about Scarlet and Violet so it could be in line with something else but it might be in regards to the gimmick Nonetheless, though, we will cover it as we will be there. So friends, that wraps up today's video. I hope you found it useful. I hope it gives you a better idea and understanding of this new terrestrial phenomenon that's happened in the Paldea region. And uh, I would love to hear your opinions on it down below. Are you skeptical about it? Are you looking forward to it? If you still got more questions about it, we haven't got all the information yet. We haven't got a full picture of how it works, but we've got enough information to get an initial idea with how it's gonna interact with game and affect potentially how we look at Pokemon battles going into generation nine. So thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. More importantly than anything, take care of yourselves and I will see you for the next one. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.